Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I will try to go in there and make a difference. Welcome to Man Cave Technology, part two of my MacBook Pro issues. Today, we're gonna go to the Apple Store and we're gonna try to see if we can get this resolved. I hope that this is not just part two, but that this will be the final edition because I'd really like to get the issue solved with this computer so that I can just use it and not have to deal with problems. However, it has not been going that well. Now, let me set the record straight here. If I leave the computer plugged in, sitting on the desk, and I don't use Time Machine, it actually works fine and it's one of the best computers that I've used. It's very, very fast. It's great for video. It's pushing a lot of stuff. I love the power. However, mm, say I unplug it and I have it uh, in the bed and then I set it beside the bed when I go to sleep. In the morning, it may have restarted. It may have crashed. Say I plug in Time Machine. Oh, it may eject all the disk in the middle of working and make strange noises. So we got to get the issues resolved. We'll see what's going on and we'll see what we can do. Oh, the light hurts my eyes. It's tough getting out of the man cave, but I'm here for a very important reason. And that is to come to the Apple store. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I will try to go in there and make a difference. Well, it's definitely Christmas time. There's lots of people here. I think it's interesting now how they just kind of help you anywhere in the store. There's always, people standing around, you don't know if they're buying something or if uh, they're waiting to have something fixed. I definitely don't think I'll be bringing this to the man cave anytime soon. Okay, so the guy who I was talking to, he's run to the back and he's going to check on their internal stuff and see if they have any records of this as an emerging issue. I kind of told him that I've checked the forms and different things and that I've seen this and uh, he's gonna let me know what they find back there. All right, I'm leaving the Apple store. I actually had a really good uh, chat with someone and have some interesting things to tell you guys. So I'm gonna head back to the man cave and uh, we'll get the info out. Okay, so here's pretty much what went on at the Apple store. I didn't wanna record a whole lot in there because it's kind of awkward and uh, I wanted to get good service and them not think I'm just screwing around. But basically, I uh, got a good technician. I kind of went in with this kind of bad attitude, like it's just not gonna be good. But the guy that I talked with was really cool, really great guy. Uh, he's one of the good ones. He kind of told me that, yeah, people a lot of times come in with just really dumb stuff. And so sometimes they get jaded, but he could kind of tell that I knew what I was talking about. So we basically did their typical hardware diagnostic test, which I don't put a whole lot of faith in, but it said that everything was fine. And then we looked through some of uh, the error codes and things that were in console. And uh, we were kind of looking through some stuff and kind of really decided that this is most likely some type of driver issue. We found some places where there's a kernel panic uh, because of uh, some issues that are going on with the Thunderbolt USB connection and that's kind of our best guess at this point. He did mention that there were some other things uh, that software updates uh, would hopefully be happening for. He kind of looked on their internal communication. He didn't find other people internally uh, reports of this happening so he definitely documented my situation. I told him that there were a lot of people out there that had commented on this YouTube channel and in Mac Rumors and other places and so uh, uh, that's really good to add that uh, to the conversation. And uh, our best hope was that some software updates are gonna fix it. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. I think one's about to come out and we'll give you an update. All right, it's a good day. You'll see we have 10.12.1 installed and we now have 10.12.2. So we're gonna update and see if this solves all of our problems. Okay, so I have no clue if this is going to actually fix the things that I want it to fix. I just read through the notes for this release and I did not see anything about this particular issue, but I think this is probably relatively a small issue, even though there are a lot of people on this channel commenting about the problem. I still think that it's not just like a huge uh, issue that everyone's experiencing. So it does say that it will improve stability or something like that in there. So let's see if maybe improved stability buried all under there is, oh crap, we really screwed screwed up with our drivers. Okay, we're waiting for the MacBook Pro with Touch Bar to restart with this software update and the hope that everything is great. So far, it's all black. I'm not sure that's a very promising sign. 
And we went from me thinking that it was restarting and pretty much done to 15 more minutes of this. Okay, so now we have the update installed. The Mac is back on. And so now we're gonna go ahead and install what has been the kiss of death, which is just trying to do a simple time machine backup. So if I was making a video called how to boat anchor your brand new $3,000 computer, MacBook Pro with touch bar, it would be to simply get a hard drive plug it in okay so we are preparing to back up this computer has not been able to back up since i got it because of this issue it crashes every time on time machine so we'll give it a while we'll see uh what she does it's now going it's going to back up 617.35 gigs so that should be a good amount to see if this thing's going to work or not Okay, well, I don't want to cry fixed too early, but I actually have been able to complete the time machine backup. Wow. How long have I had this computer? Like a month and it finally completed time machine backup? So I don't know if this is really the ultimate fix, but maybe this has resolved my issues that I'm having. I'll be very interested to see if some of you guys uh, who have been having the issues, if this has resolved your issues. And if you are now good to go, or if you're still having issues, especially some with the graphics issues, I never had those uh, that were seeing the red spots and that kind of stuff. So let me know uh, down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. We have more cool stuff coming up. Thanks.